everyone and welcome to my channel now today we're gonna go ahead and do a flip through of my new faith planner for 2020 I am so excited for this planner I really really important to me and I really want to read the Bible more and study the Bible more this year as of like right now <laughs> so what I plan to do is probably if I can plan a little bit in here so I can start it now but let me show you a flip through of this faith planner and I hope you all enjoy it. Here we go. So the first thing I will do is show you this amazing, amazing, amazing quote in the front. It says, God is within her, she will not be moved. So pretty and look at these colors. Okay, when we open it, we get the girls there and then He'll redeem my soul. This faith planner, faith edition belongs to. And again, this will be for probably church and Bible study and just journaling, very personal things to me with the Lord. But I love this. So let me center it a little bit more. And then we have this layout like this. We have this, so, so nice. And I love the rose gold in this planner. Like, I think I'm going to change it up and put rose gold discs or change it up and put some kind of silver discs, maybe. I think the rose gold will match better. Oh, so pretty. I think I'm going to do rose gold. So anyway, this is, this is January. But just so you know, this pages on all the months usually looks like this. Favorite verses, notes, prayer list, dates to remember. This is how the month looks, and it usually has a cute little verse down here. And I think this is so pretty. He counts the stars and cares, calls them all by name. Psalm 147. I love this. And this is the layout. So, just so you all know, what I plan to do is what I usually do is I'll write a scripture here, any scripture that I'm studying for that day. And I want to go in chronological, but sometimes it doesn't happen that way. So I'll write any scripture here. Here I'll write like what I observed from reading that particular scripture under observation. And then here I'll write like how it applies to my life or I'll write something that stood out in the sense of my life in regards to that particular verse or what I read. Perfect, and I'll do that throughout the day. Hopefully the plan is every day. That's my goal. <laughs> Cause I really wanna make that a priority. Blessings this week grateful for and that's how it is every week for the month same pages same information each week except different verses different chapters february would look the same as january so yeah i'm gonna go ahead now and start showing you guys the dashboards and i hope you all enjoy so this is february look how beautiful this is march This is April. This is May. It says the upright will dwell in your presence. It's so pretty. I love that it's Psalms. Oh, so nice. This is June. Reminds me of the beach kind of, right? This is July. This is August. I love that. This is September. This is October. Your mercy is great. This is November. And this is December. And at the end, it says just some thoughts. Now, this is such a pretty planner. One thing I do want to point out, and I'll just go to any month here. In the other faith planner, at the end, you had where it showed for sermon notes or things like that. It, as you can see, 
it's not there anymore. Like it goes from here for October to November. So it's not there anymore, which is not a bad thing because what I plan to do in between, I plan to put in maybe these sheets for to go ahead and write the sermon notes if I need to write sermon notes when I take it to church and things like that. I actually really like this, like this. So that's my faith planner for 2020. Very excited to use it. And I'm sure you'll see setups in, as it gets closer to the new year. But this is how she looks so far. This is the one that I will be using. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you on the next video.